This video is about snails. Come on, buddy, show your head. He's not uh, posing. Here's our guest of honor. He's uh, kind of unhappy because it's warm out here. Snails really don't like the heat. They usually hide in cool, moist, shady places. That's where I found him. Now, there are some uh, classic signs of feeding from the European brown snail. Uh, right here on this cabbage leaf, I got a feeling this was probably him. Uh, chewed that all up on us. Uh, the slime isn't necessarily always showing on the leaves, by the way. Um, I've heard that one that, oh, I don't see any slime trails. Um, the slime trails occur more on leaves uh, that are irritating. If they're kind of fuzzy or oily, then you might see slime trails on them. But if the leaves are nice and smooth, like a cabbage leaf, very seldom see too much for slime on the leaves. Um, Here's some lettuce down here, too. Pretty well chewed up, I see. Yeah, that's definitely snails. Sometimes it's slugs, but those bites are awful big. If it's a snail, it's, uh, I mean, if it's a slug, rather, it's probably the uh, killer banana slug. Um, one of the materials I like to use to prevent snails from feeding on my plants is uh, powdered cinnamon. Now, this stuff right here is a repellent to the critters. It's not uh, like snail bait uh, where you know you lure them to the spot, they eat the stuff and they die. This is a little different approach. We just take some of the cinnamon and we dust a little bit like that around the leaves of our plants. Um, the stuff is probably something like trying to take a bath in cinnamon red hots. Uh, enough of it will actually kill snails and slugs, um, although I guarantee uh, no snails or slugs were harmed in the process of making this video. Uh, the usual product that people will use when they're going after snails is a snail bait. Now um, this one right here is Sluggo. Uh, it's my favorite. This is an iron phosphate based bait. It's uh, non-toxic uh, to most wildlife. Just pretty much snails and slugs. Won't hurt the Remember, though, that the sluggo is a bait, and so it's like going fishing. You put a worm on a hook, you toss it out there in the stream, and um, all of the uh, fish come to it. Same thing with the baits for snails. The snails will come after these baits, and so don't put them around the plants you're trying to protect. Try dusting some cinnamon on your plants as a, as a repellent, and then take the bait and put it out into the walk row instead. Now over here we've got a little bit different approach. This is a uh, uh, classic nursery pot uh, with the bottom cut out. So I've taken this black plastic pot and I've surrounded it with a self-adhesive copper foil. The copper foil conducts minute electric current in the atmosphere and it tingles like heck when a snail tries to crawl across it. I suppose the analog would be something on the order of uh, Chewing on tin foil, um, it's, they shudder when they hit it. It's kind of an amazing thing when you watch it. Uh, right here, I've got a zucchini plant that I just stuck in this morning, and I don't want them eating over the course of the evening. So I'm going to take that pot, push it right down around the top of the zucchini plant. It has a barrier. Um, and uh, that's probably about the only thing to say about snails. I see he's trying to make a getaway over here. Uh, this video was about you, buddy. Uh, you're by no means anybody's favorite garden creature, right? Yeah.